Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the advantages of laser scanning confocal microscopy over conventional light microscopy. In the last video, we looked at light microscopy. Light microscopy has one big advantage in biology, which is that we can look at living cells. However, light microscopy has a poor resolution. Remember that resolution is the minimum distance between two objects where they can still be seen as two separate objects. For a conventional light microscope, the resolution is around 200 nanometers. This is because the wavelength of visible light is simply too large to allow us to resolve objects closer than that. There is another problem with conventional light microscopes, which leads to poor resolution. In conventional light microscopy, light passes through the sample. Imagine that we're trying to view the part of the cell shown by the red arrow. The light that we see will already have passed through the parts of the cell shown by the green arrow. This makes the image blurred, and the resolution even worse than it could be. In the last couple of decades, a new technique has been developed called laser scanning confocal microscopy, and this has dramatically improved light microscopy. In laser scanning confocal microscopy, a laser is used to scan the object that we're interested in. This allows us to view a very precise layer of the object, and I'm illustrating that with this diagram. This means that the image produced by laser scanning confocal microscopy has a higher resolution than conventional light microscopy. Using laser scanning confocal microscopy, we can produce three-dimensional images of cells. This technique also allows us to tag specific proteins and structures within cells by using special dyes and antibodies. This shows an image of cells in the pancreas using laser scanning confocal microscopy. The blue colour shows us the nuclei of the cells. The green colour shows us insulin producing cells. And the red colour shows us cells producing glucagon. With laser scanning confocal microscopy, we can actually watch proteins moving around living cells. And this helps us to work out the functions of those proteins. So to summarise, here are the advantages of laser scanning confocal microscopy. Firstly, this produces higher resolution images than conventional light microscopy. Secondly, we can produce three-dimensional images of cells. And lastly, we can visualise specific proteins and structures within the cell and watch them move. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to describe the advantages of laser scanning confocal microscopy over conventional light microscopy.